This is me now, and this was me back in 2019. It's safe to say that I've got lazy. In today's video, I've set myself the challenge of getting shredded in just over a month. But before I start, let me tell you how this idea came about. Growing up, I was bullied for being a fat, nerdy kid. Then one day, I decided to make a change and turn my life around. But then came the problem. I got satisfied. I started to slip back into some old habits, and my diet's been shocking. I'm in need of some motivation, so what better than a trip to Thailand and a YouTube video to sort me out? Day one of sort my life out. I started off by taking some measurements. To lose weight, I need to be in a calorie deficit. So I worked this out using a calculator online. And then I used my fitness pal to track my progress. The reason why I want to lose weight is to get better at calisthenics. So on day one, I managed 20 pull-ups. And with handstand push-ups, my form wasn't the best, but I managed four reps. Oh. I also did pistol squats on an 18-inch box and got a five-second advanced tuck lever. I hate them because like, you get punched in the stomach like 20 times. Because of my goal of getting better at calisthenics, I'm mainly focusing on body weight exercises. So in this phase, I'm actually going to focus on a lot of these basic calisthenics progressions and build up my strength over time. Of course, with the exception of bench press and shoulder press and a few other leg exercises. After some final tests and progress pictures, I then designed my training program. And stand push up. I'm gonna be using the Strong app to track progressive overload. Here's the training I'm gonna be using for the next 30 days. But feel free to download a link in the description of this video. Finally, I set myself a realistic weight target of 85 kilos and worked out I can achieve it if I lost a kilo a week for 30 days. And what if I didn't? Well, it was simple. I wasn't going to Thailand. Didn't you know, being serious, I'm not coming if I don't get under 85 kilos. What? You're not going to come no, to Thailand? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're going to have to take someone else. On day one, I got off to a slow start. So I'm already lacking motivation to train on day one. And all I could think about was being hungry. First session in, not feeling that strong. Just finding things a lot harder than normal, I think, because of the lack of food. For me, sugar's always been the most difficult thing to cut out. Really want some of these. But the challenge was great for keeping me disciplined. To kill the chocolate cravings. Honestly, these things are heaven. They stop me from craving chocolate. I just want some proper food. That porridge didn't do anything at all. At least training was going great. Look at that friend out coming in. Doing purely calisthenics is definitely taxing. Oh. I've never felt anything quite like that. I'm actually looking forward to doing a little bit of weight now after all that body weight stuff. But I was really enjoying my new training structure. Feel great after that. Feels really good. And things were going great until this happened. I'm woken up with a really nasty cold. Not ideal. Me feeling burnt out. This flu hasn't got any better so far. But weirdly, it kind of helped me out. I'm not craving food, which is good. Eating healthier was starting to feel a lot easier. Best bit about being on a cut. And training, it actually went really well. So strange. I felt so tired today, and I've just managed to get my best set yet. <sighs> Tough legs. When I'm well, staying hydrated with three liters of water definitely helped. And after a couple more hard days of training, it was time for the weekend. We're starting to see a bit more ab definition. And to keep my motivation high, I promised myself yes. a cheat meal once a week. Mm. And this tastes even better than it normally does. So, what does a day in the life of Tom consist of? I try and start the morning with a walk, followed by a class on Keeping the beach. That control, Helen, well done. And then some food. Personal training. Well done. My own training. More personal training. Two, one. Some editing. More food. Some time with my girlfriend. And then bed. After following this routine for a week, I'd lost almost two mm -hmm. kilos. And I was feeling more motivated than ever. Aiming for at least four to six sessions a week. And progress with training was flying. It's definitely getting stronger as I'm getting lighter. Here we go, we're getting better. Getting leaner was definitely helping with the calisthenics. This is the first time doing the advanced tuck. And you might be wondering, what about cardio? For the challenge, I started up boxing. <laughs> I don't really need any form of intense cardio. For me, it's more enjoyable going for walks. And I aim to walk between 10 and 12,000 steps per day. What a beautiful morning to get these steps in. I'd usually walk with an energy drink, but I've decided there's another one of my goals to cut these out too. It's quite good killing two birds with one stone here. So I'm limiting myself to one Diet Coke a day. I saw that Ryan Terry drinks a can of Coke every day. And even though it was tough, I kept consistent with my nutrition. So I just get egg. I'm actually starting to love this meal now. I feel like the thin bagels create the illusion of a big bagel. Not having any bad food at home definitely helped. Fortunately, I have nothing in the fridge. All that veg productivity is on point. But just when I thought everything was going good, I could start to feel my old habits taking over. This is the first time this cut has really hit me. And I'm really wanting some food now. I'm really hungry right now and it's half 11 at night. This really isn't good. I was now really struggling with my motivation and eventually I caved. So I may have just cheated again and gone over my daily calories. Mm. I started to slip back into old habits. Yum. I might have caved in. And the more unhealthy food I ate, the lazier I got. 
and it was starting to show. My weight was starting to go back up. Same as yesterday. And with just over a week to go, it was looking unlikely I'd reach my 85 kilo target. It's constant dinners out, like three, four times a week, and I just keep going. Katie, she's doing the challenge as well, and we're both not doing very well at the moment, are we? At the moment, the problem was that I was eating my breakfast and lunch, and then binge eating before bed. It was a bunny, but it's not anymore. It's so nice. <laughs> So it's not going great at all at the moment. First two weeks were going quite well. I've really started to fall off the edge with the nutrition. I'm gonna to need to sort this out in the next few days. Hoping these extra late night steps are gonna make up for the food I've eaten today. With now only six days to go, I needed to come up with a strategy to lose weight fast. But then I sat down and thought to myself, what about fasting? Fasting, God, I could eat so much food right now. If I could wait a few hours in the morning. 10 o'clock and I'm starving right now. I'd be able to eat all the foods that I enjoy while staying in a deficit and losing weight. I don't know if um, I get away with eating this. And fasting actually made me feel great. It gave me more energy. I had such a good workout, the best I've had in a couple of weeks. And the best part, it kept me full. It's about two o'clock now and I'm still stuffed from breakfast. This is definitely gonna be the way forward, I think, for the next few days. It was a genius idea. I'm quite impressed. I managed to fast until about 12 o'clock, so. And because I was in a deficit, my weight started to go down again. With only three days until the holiday and one and a half kilos to lose, it was time to give it my all. day 29. After taking some progress pictures, I did another fitness test. And being light, I definitely helped. My pull-ups went up by five reps. Oh, 25. That was horrible. And my handstand push-ups improved. My form was still pretty questionable. I managed some slightly lower pistol squats and got a seven second advanced tuck lever, two seconds longer than day one. And my strength with weights? Unsurprisingly, it went down as I've got lighter. Same. Okay, it's day 30 and it's time for my final weigh-in. I'm literally going to Thailand in a few hours. Um, I'm really hoping that I'm under 85 kilos. It's time to find out. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, look, look at this. 85.3. I think, think I should let myself off or not? Yeah, 100%. Let's do it. Thailand, here we come. If you'd like to transform your body, then comment your goals and the reasons why you'd like to achieve them. We're gonna be picking one lucky winner from the comment section of this video. 